Nature Ball, the lobotomite specimen returns. Its purpose, repetition. Chances of success, high. The genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Try to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every time. Supposedly, he has even larger models, even a giant robot scorpion, hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, right. Giant monsters, sure. Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? I... Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a slight mishap. Now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried, now it's exposed to the sky. Don't get me wrong. Makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra. So soothing. Yeah, I do. It wasn't always, oh. I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. Great. Psychology. Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after Colosto Diuretics. Okay, so my name is an O. Never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh. Vivisect me, please. What? Did... Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant. I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, oh, <laughs> Who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. Oh, is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. To make a zero in all the think tank, they won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derezzes my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at this. Just uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors. And those innards start falling out everywhere. If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. And you return as curious as a teddy bear. Are you stuck in a looping gesture of greeting?
Looping, yes. It is a scientific fact that hormones drive a percentage of lobotomites into recursive behavior patterns. We haven't researched this, as my colleagues care little about the behavior patterns of lobotomites once their brains are removed. It is why so many are littered around the facility, like skin envelopes, discarded after they are peeled open and the contents extracted. It varies according to the number and density of lobotomites that have infected an area. In 43% of observed cases, two lobotomites left alone will fight for dominance or inject bodily fluids into each other's orifices. Unsanitary. I have tried to observe more cases, but subjects seem unwilling to release bodily fluids in my presence. Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. But once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. The brain is finally free of the skin envelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. Lobotomites. With you, however, something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. It really could be anywhere. Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you could humanically reduce yourself again. Until our next interaction, my... Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. Why, yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. I am Dr. Klein, Chief Head Researcher of Logistical Operations and Ideology here at Big Mountain. I am surprised you have not heard of me. I am first in my field, first chair, as it were, back in the days of chairs. Dr. Mobius was not the horrifying creature you saw upon the screen, twisted by science. He was once one of us, a friend. He researched in directions contrary to the think tank. Brains, 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 always about the brains. So we exiled him. He says he left of his own volition, but that was to save him the embarrassment. Now he sends his intelligence-consuming scorpions from the Forbidden Zone to plunder the secrets of Big Mountain. He is a menace. Dr. O is certain of his findings, and no one else in the think tank is willing to test the results. Loss of brainial power. Terrifying. O has said on many occasions his inability to comprehend Mobius's robo-schematics is because of repeated robo-scorpion stings. Yes, a most goodbye.
Lobotomite returns. What insidious plan can it have brewing in its horrid mind? What commie anti-American propaganda will it spew? Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers, they are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. Indeed, docile, curious, safe, sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for observation. No, such creatures are found only here, for research purposes. They would no more be capable of escape than breeding. I cannot expect a lobotomite to understand the careful surgical castrating procedures used in their creation. Perhaps a demonstration of my castrating power would settle your doubts. Because Big Mountain safety measures are far more sophisticated than their primitive animal instincts. We are their lords and masters. Submit your questions. I shall respond with deadly answers. The malignant tumor that is Mobius plagues us all. His hunger for power, insatiable. From his lair in the Forbidden Zone, his terrifying robo-scorpion army clicks and whirs across the crater of Big Mountain, ever seeking, ever stinging. He must be stopped or all of Big Mountain shall be destroyed. There is logic and purpose in it. If these technologies are needed to pierce the Forbidden Zone, so be it. Science is powerful, and in the right hands, our hands, if we had hands, we would be nigh unstoppable. That castrated nickname of our facility is not its true name. The true name is Big Mountain. Where are your manners? It is our home. Threatened by the horrors of Mobius. All we wish to do is continue our research. Layer upon layer, above and beneath the floor of the crater, until we have our answers. But no, Mobius will not let us rest. Scaring us with his scary robots, with their laser tails, and blowing up all the time. It was not our first choice of testing grounds, but we no longer have the luxuries of our test cities. Then we lost the mountain. After the explosion, we couldn't find it anymore. So the crater became our testing grounds for science. Yes, in the past, individuals would come to us, pay for technology, and if their town, community, or city was just right, we could use that city as a controlled experiment. Vault-Tec was much better at it, of course. We had to make do. Get permission. Sometimes. If only we could have used commie cities. 
But capturing whole cities was hard. So we captured enough commies to make cities of our own. So we had a group of Chinese prisoners to experiment on. Those were the days. But the true test was science on unsuspecting Americans. Whether it was holograms, new autodocs, toxins, vending machines, we wound them up, let them go into tiny, isolated towns. Then, we observed. Boom! Yes, quite unexpected and embarrassing. All better now after the landscaping, though. Much more pleasing to our monitors. And the crater helps keep everything inside, because it is bowl-shaped. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. How can I illuminate you? Unlike... Hi again, sweet... And you return as looping. We it varies. What nonsense? What? What are you doing? Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this filthy formography? Enough. I am already intrigued. You have sufficiently percolated me. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It... it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle and tissue. Perhaps... perhaps there is value in what you say. I... I did so enjoy breathing once. Long ago. Would you? I feel so ashamed, but yet so intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might run over. If you're ready, let me radar scan you. Slowly. Bloop. 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 Bloop.
Nonsense! That is what you speak! Nonsense! From beyond! I was at the top of my high school class in American high school. I knew facts. I knew figures. I knew data. We would know if our research was flawed. It is not! We never contradict ourselves, so do not even try! In 2000, let's see, carry the three, then count backwards from the great static, or beyond. There were the tarantula debates, and something about hawks which made it around. 2003, May, Tuesday, it was definitely Tuesday. Why are we even debating this? What you ask is of no importance. Mobius besieges us. There are more important things to worry about than data and facts. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside, like us. And anything without a brain, also inside. It is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. What? Why would you do either of those things? That is madness. There is nothing outside Big Mountain. Uh, we're pretty sure. Uh, we would know. Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. That and giant cybernetic dogs that would ruthlessly patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend. Like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. Who's laughing now, Betsy? I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. No! Beyond is death, despite mounting evidence to the contrary. No matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Enough! Stop filling my precious brain cell units with irrelevant data. You sound like the other visitors, making wild claims of a world beyond, where there is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable. Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. I have no time. None of us do. Until next time, then. Did you retrieve the...
Did you retrieve the technology? I'm not certain. Perhaps it only affects machines. If so, you may be immune. If it is chems, then we have nothing to fear. Since we are afraid, it must not be chems, and you need not fear, which means you can test it. Logical. Bottom, I... What? Oh, something familiar about it, yes. Is it a Cazador skull? Always were bull-shaped. Or were those the bullions we made? I confess, I am stumped. If you were to draw some other connection between that bull and a research facility in Big Mountain, I may be of more help. Until next time.
sure to get up wherever you buried it.
minion. Sting them in the name of all that is Mobius. You won't escape me.
You require some addition. And rightly so. Oh, I should. 